Hey guys, it's Felrangs, and I'm making a Roblox game that uses voice chat. Quick story, uh, like one day I was just, you know, scrolling around on my YouTube watching stuff, and then I saw something in my recommendation, which, uh, was talking about a uh, Roblox game that used voice chat, and I clicked on it, and I saw that there was actually, like, new stuff where you could actually, like, code stuff to interact with the player's voice chat, and I was pretty interested in that, because... Before, when I was making my uh, Lethal Company game, I tried doing it because, you know, in the game, they had the dogs that listen to you. But then when I checked the documentation, there was really nothing like affecting voice chat except checking if the player has it or not. So I quickly searched it up and I found out that they actually publicly released new voice chat features to enhance stuff. And I was like, ah, I want to make a game on that. So yeah, let me... Uh, tell you about my development into that before i continue on if you enjoy the content make sure to like comment subscribe and hit that post notification bell can we hit 400 subscribers before the end of the year i don't know it's up to you guys and i really appreciate it if you did but with that being said let's continue on so i started brainstorming some ideas on what the game could be and i decided on a horror game which is pretty generic but you're the monster that will use the voice chat which it's also been done, but, you know, it's an interesting concept, you know, whatever, I, you know, I'm not the most original guy. I mean, look at my channel. <laughs> but to kill your victim, you'll have to scream. So, hope no one's in your house, or else, uh, is, you're gonna sound crazy. Like this! Okay, no, I can't. There's people in my house. So, when I found out about the voice chat, I immediately made a game and started, uh, testing stuff. As you can see, this is a part I have which has an audio emitter, an audio analyzer, and it's connected to a wire with this part, which listens to the audio, which uh, basically was with this script that I stole from their template game, uh, like makes it so when you speak, it will emit audio from your player, and this would listen to it, and then it would connect to this, and this would uh, emit it back to you. So basically, whatever you said would echo back to you, right? And then this analyze to analyze stuff, and you know what it did? It didn't work. Also, there's a big guy. Okay, so this is the next version, and this guy is now regular sized. And I added a starter character, which is a ghost that you're gonna be that is invisible, but when you talk, you'll become transparent. That's what I wanted to do. So, like, you'll look like this. Uh, uh, well, I didn't completely make everything properly transparent. So, yeah, you'll be a ghost, and when you, like, talk, you'll, like, be more visible, and when you're silent, you'll be invisible. Okay, this version's actually improved, because I actually got the voice chat to work, and the feature I mentioned before, where your character would, uh, become more transparent, does work if you're talking. And also, I added an AI, which listens to you and has scripts for when he's scared and you know animations and how he reacts to the audio so okay so i'm gonna just move away so he doesn't hear me but uh yeah I, you see i'm whispering you can see that i go more visible also i'm a mute uh muting makes you stuck like that uh, that was a bug uh you can see waypoints i was gonna plan to make him walk which i will in future thing can also collide with him and this wall as a ghost uh, wow what what a very physical ghost i am but yeah let me uh bait him over you, you see i baited him over he comes checks it out he's like huh what's that yeah but then also okay well you're supposed to you know scream but he like was in shock that he saw something so you know he's, he's gone now but yeah if you talk loud enough you play an animation where you basically jump scare them so you're like boo and then you know he'll, he'll be like that but i barely even talked and he uh croaked there was also a bug that i'll mention that uh persisted for a bit where uh the um the audio listener for the starter character was actually tied to this in like the game so your starter character is like somewhere like around this spawn point so if you walk further away even if you're talking really loud, you're very invisible. 
because your audio listener in there isn't actually following you. It's following the one at, all the way at the spawn. Uh, I do fix this, so it actually does track you properly and does track how loud you are. So yeah, I'm just saying that's why I'm all the way over here. And if I say something really loud, I'm very uh, transparent still. All right, on to the next part. Okay, so this is basically the same thing, except there's a wall and more waypoints, but he still doesn't follow them. I'm gonna check if uh, the bug is fixed. Oh, wait, you can actually walk through walls now. And wait a minute, I think, uh, wait, what? Why wasn't I appearing before? Uh, okay, if I run over here, okay, I fixed the tracking. I swear I was talking before. Was I muted? I, yeah, but look, uh, yeah, it follows you now. I fixed that. All right, on to the next part. This version, I added in uh, an ability to where if you scare them, boo, they'll uh, get hurt. And then you can detect the fear and you can see them through walls. So you can track them, which is tied to their health because they're scared and you can turn it on and off. Also, uh, also, also, uh, uh. okay, well, if they hear you, there'll be a white outline, but uh, I, uh, Apparently, it was too loud. Next time. Okay, so this version is like basically the finalizations of like basically all the systems that would be in the beta. Uh, there's a map I made with uh, waypoints everywhere where this person now actually waypoints to them. And also, when he's scared, he'll run off to a random waypoint trying to escape you. And also status effects, which aren't in the beta. But this will be used in uh, future developments. So let's hop in. So he'll be walking around. And I'm going to bait him over. Hey. Hey. Here, I'm like. Okay. He hears me. He's coming over. And boo! And then he runs away. Oh, uh, there's a bug with the outline still. But yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. The pathfinding may not be on the bestest of terms. He does run away. Uh, he doesn't reset his pathfinding back. It gets fixed later, but yeah, I guess it's not here right now. But yeah, for these status effects, if you're you're tangible, you can't walk through walls. Because you're a ghost, you can walk through walls. But if you get hit by this, you can't. Silence actually mutes you. So, ah! Yeah, it doesn't work. And, you, and it's like stackable, as you can see in the GUI. Uh, yeah, that's really it for this. I mean, this is a better improvement. Uh, the AI still gets, I guess, a bit more fixed, but you can see the general gist of what I'm trying to go for. Since my AI code was basically finalized, I decided to make a map that I took from one of my older games, where, uh, you'll be in this, like, dingy, like, basement area, where the victims will come down, and you will be hunting them in this dark environment. It's not really dark, but that's because I had to build the map, so everything's light right now. And everything's a real symmetrical beauty. Look how symmetrical I made everything. And yeah, this is where you spawn. The ritual spawn point. Creepy. Okay, I must have been lazy. I mean, what is this? I, j I just wanted to see this because there was this random version on this day. And this is all I did. Oh, wait. No, I, I put doors. I put rusty doors. And this. Amazing. Just kidding. I already knew what I was doing. I was just trolling. Uh, yeah, this is the map. This map's basically done. And this was to uh, build the scene for the intro. Where uh, you'll basically spawn in as a camera looking at these guys. Which will be making the great mistake of entering this building. Where they'll be locked in. Um, there's the title screen, where it's the game, the play button, uh, requirements, and all that. And I also think, uh, there's voice acting, but I don't know if I added it in. Let me see. Okay, I didn't add voice acting, but I do voice act them. And, uh, okay, the script for the camera for the intro clearly is not really functioning. But yeah, that's really it for this version. Uh, let's continue on to the next version. Okay, so as you can see, I added in 
you know, credits the voice actor, me, amazing voice actor. I think this one actually has voice acting and the story to it. Uh, the camera's broken for some reason. All right, we'll go through that fence. Look at that, the camera script work. Oh, it's supposed to be dark, but you know, for testing, there's light out, so it shouldn't look like this, but you'll get the feeling. Look at this. Then we go in. Ooh, fade to black. Secret duck in the floor. Okay, I'm down to the last victim. Let's see if I can find him. Uh, that outline bug is still there. Okay, so I got him and nothing happens. Uh, there is an end cutscene at the end. But, uh, I won't be showing that. You have to play the demo. But it's not in this version. It's in the final version. Which I'll be getting to soon. And also, talking to dead. Okay, that definitely... Oh, they, he's jumping. Oh, this guy is scarier than me. Okay, so this is the final version. As you can see, the ambience. Everything is dark. And spooky. And this also adds the ending uh, cutscene. Yeah, as you can see, the ambience is way different now that everything is dark. And I added back the ability to see fear, but with this cool overlay. So, like, you're seeing the fear. And also, I improved the AI. The seek up. Uh, okay, right when I said I improved the AI, this is what I see. I'm disappointed in you. Yeah, run away. Yeah, you can see this duck sitting here. My goat. And who's saying, huh? Stop questioning me. But yeah, that's really it. That's it for this devlog. But I'm working on other stuff to add more dynamic and fun gameplay. But that will be for the next devlog when I finish and release the game. So all you're gonna have to do is just sit back and relax. Or watch my shorts where I've actually shown more. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, uh, like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification bell. And again, uh, let's try to hit 400 subscribers before the end of this year. I would really appreciate it. And thank you if you do subscribe. Uh, anyway, see you all later. Move up. The <laughs>